Okay, tell everybody, hey, sir. Is that a cool little bell you got there? Yo, what is up, family? Welcome back to the Die Castle. So today, we are doing a earth shaker of video here for you guys. So I have quite a few uh, earth shakers. We got, uh-oh, Kegzilla knocked my glasses on the floor. Kegzilla, give us a... All right, all right, guys, you can see uh, Kegzilla is crushing all of the uh, earth shakers here in the background. So we got a very cool video today for you guys. You can see I got our 124 scale model, and we are going to go through each and every single one of these earth, earth shakers. But before we do that, we have to give Kekiroo a little treat right here, and then we will be right back with you. All right, family, stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, friends and family, we are back. Check out all of these amazing earth shakers that we have here in the background. We have the 124 scale, and then we also have this uh, doubles pack here with Bad Company. Now, we're not going to be opening up this one today, but I just wanted to show you this earth shaker that we here have here in this uh, doubles pack along with Bad Company. Uh, I think it's a very cool model. You see we have that silver frame like I like. Uh, very cool stuff, and I like the matching uh, yellow wheels. Gives it a very cool uh, industrial look. Neat. Um, also yellow um, frame in there, too. Very cool stuff. So we will be opening up this uh, doubles pack here in a, uh, another video for you guys. All right. So anyway, that starts off the fun. Now, also in this video here, I picked up this uh, 124th scale uh, Gotta Dump, and we will be taking a look and uh, at that also at the end of the video. I'm going to be uh, opening that up. But before we get into everything, let me move a couple of these aside, and we are going to take a look at the 124th scale uh, Earth Shaker here, guys. All right, so this is probably one of my favorite ones. It is done uh, very accurate. I love this truck a lot. Let's get in here and look at all the features. So first thing you see is we have these brown wheels. We got the yellow bead locks and the BKT tires. I love the uh, the massive size of these 124 scale. We got the cool silver headers. Got the brown frame. Got all of our little uh, logos going on in there. Optima batteries. Magnaflow, K&N, all kinds of cool stuff. We got Holly, neat uh, livery graphics on the side. You can see the busted up uh, earth. We got the uh, the rocks and the and the gravel uh, flying here in the background. We got the little uh, hydraulic arm, I believe, for the the cover that uh, the Tanyu cover. In the back of this one, though, we have that dirt there. Some of them now, the newer ones, have been putting a uh, Tanyu cover. See right here, it doesn't have the dirt. It has this like flat ton you cover instead of instead of the rocks and stuff, which I think is pretty cool. You know, it's a very cool uh, variation. Let's check it out. You can see the uh, sheer size difference uh, between these trucks right here, guys. Look, man, these 124 scale models are absolutely cool. So anyway, guys, that kind of uh, wraps up the review here on this 124 scale. Let me show you the back of the truck here real quick. Very neat models. Too bad uh, too bad they don't lift and actually dump the sand and the dirt. That would be a cool feature. And that's kind of why I want to show you this uh, gotta dump here at the end of the video because I do believe that this thing tilts and tips uh, so you can actually uh, get the dirt and stuff out of it. You could probably actually play with this thing in the yard I'm not going to play with it in the yard. I'm too old for that. I'm just a collector. But I think it is definitely a neat feature. Alright guys, let's get into this video real quick. Now the first uh, uh, earth shaker that I'm going to show you guys is a fire model. But this fire model also has like these lava or dirt tires. Now we've seen these dirt tires before on other models very cool stuff but now they're like a dirt tire but with a flame now the top of the body here is is about the same you kind of have this cool textured black on there 
which uh, a lot of them don't have that textured black. A lot of them are just like this, either like the gloss black or the smooth black. But this one has like a textured black and it has like this lava in the background, man. So I thought that was a very cool touch. We got the orange uh, roll cage here with the black chassis. You can see the guy in there. Uh, he's part of the chassis, so he is black as well. Very cool stuff. Nice, uh, cool windshield on this. There's the back. Love that lava in the back. Love how they did the fire uh, earth tires and then this orange frame to kind of match and bring it all together. You got these little clear rims on there too. Very cool stuff. All right, let's put him off in the background there. Hopefully you guys can keep an uh, eye on those and put them in the background there for you so you can, uh, so you can see them here as we go. All right, next earth shaker we got here. It's kind of like this uh, uh, apocalyptic style. You see here we got a little hook. It's all all rusted out you can see we got hooks and chains and things going down the side and we got on the front here got some more chains more dirt on the top remember how the other one was just black see how this one has chain graphics and stuff very cool so we kind of got like this toxic nuclear kind of uh, meltdown looking goop or dirt or mud radioactive substance in the back of this truck very neat with its dark brown uh, roll cage we kind of have a grayish uh, chassis in there to match the gray wheels with the brown almost like a rust look a lot of rust look going on on this truck making this apocalyptic style uh, truck a uh, very cool all right friends and family next one we got let's add a little color got this uh, earth shaker here uh, but with the full yellow wheels and tires very cool stuff I like how it matches the yellow body and the yellow uh, frame there very neat and then we kind of have this white to see if that got metallic in it. No, I don't see any metallic in it, but uh, it, it definitely looks good. It, it makes that, uh, the roll cage makes the chassis kind of pop. Love the yellow on yellow and then the uh, and then the yellow body. Gives this thing a very cool construction feel. Nice truck, very well done. Uh, definitely a keeper. All right, guys, let's set him off here in the background. I don't know how many we're gonna be able to set in the background, but uh, you know, hopefully a very few. Um, next one, silver silver roll cage. Got the yellow tires. Got the BKT. Got the um, the yellow chassis. Kind of the same here on the top. Kind of traditional truck. But that's kind of what I like about this truck is it's very uh, accurate except for the uh, silver frame. But I love the way the silver frame uh, makes these trucks look. We have the BKT tires. Very excellent model. Very uh, kind of what you would expect to see. Very cool truck. One of my favorite. I think this thing looks very good. I, I, it's, it's simple. It's basic. It's kind of the way I believe that it should be. Very nice model. You guys let me know down in the comments if you like the, uh, those new silver frames as much as I do. All right, guys. Hold on one second. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go get Cakes. He's outside playing. Let's, uh, I'm going to move some of the stuff out of the background now. I think I might have enough room here on the table. So uh, give me one moment, fam. We'll be right back. Okay, okay, come on, let's finish this video, sir. I put him down here at a little table, guys, so he's going to get up here on the main table anyway, but I put this table up here so I have room for the uh, the trucks. Okay, you scream at everybody, sir. Tell them hey. All right, you already, oh, you already did tell them hey. Okay, Cakes, would you like another treat, sir, even though you already had like three treats today? All right, guys, let's give Cakey Cakey a little bit more uh, treat action here. And then we are going to get right back into this video review. <laughs> Man, he loves those things. All right, let's see if I can get in here. I didn't leave myself uh, much room. Oh, ah, all right, we are back. And I have forgotten my glasses let's go oh let's go get my glasses family it's the ones that we already reviewed what i do with my glasses oh who knows who knows but while we're in here let's take a look at some of these uh cars i got going i'm not gonna be able to find my glasses i don't know i don't know where i put them at family so it's kind of dark in here. Let's get let's turn on a little bit of light. Oh, that didn't help very much, but that's some light. Let's look at a few of these cars. I know we're doing a uh 
I know we're doing a earth shaker video, but you know, we're kind of going off course a little bit here today, guys. Got some cool stuff that I want to show you. This is kind of how the uh, die castle is going to be once I get it a little bit better, a little bit more set up for you guys. We are going to kind of, it is a, a vlog style channel. I want to be able to walk around and talk and log all these very cool cars that I have here for you. That new tricks. RX-7, man, amazing stuff. So very cool cars. Look at that old Tom and Jerry right there. Chest of Cheetah. Very neat. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little quick break to check out some of these cars. Look, the Die Castle walls are actually made out of die cast cakes. Tell everybody, hey. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll be right back. Let me find my glasses and we're going to continue this uh, Earth Shaker review. Hello, family. All right, we are back. So I searched all the way through this house. I literally went from this table over here to this cat door right here. And that was it. And I have absolutely lost my glasses family. I cannot find uh, where I put them. I literally went one room over and they are uh, nowhere to be found. So I am going to have to use uh, my cheater glasses to uh, finish up this uh, video for you guys. See, now I can't tell if this is in focus or not. It looks totally uh, out of focus to me. It probably is out of focus. I can't tell because I don't have my glasses, guys. So, the challenges of YouTube. These are uh, the, I can't tell if they're blurry or if it's just my eyes. But uh, hopefully you can see some of these uh, cool five packs that we got here, guys. Maybe Cakes, maybe Cakes took them and ran away with them because I wasn't giving him enough treats. Cakes, did you steal Dad's glasses, sir? No, no, cakes didn't steal them. So anyway, I'm going to try to use my uh, cheater glasses here. And so we can get this video done, family. I have no idea where they went. It kind of, uh, <clears throat> it kind of made me a, a little bit aggravated because um, I have looked uh, for 15 minutes. I can't seem to find them. But let's go ahead and get this uh, video review done for you. <laughs> Cakey Roo, does that make you upset? Yeah, it does. All right, guys, back into these Earth Shakers. Okay, here we go. So now we have Earth Shaker in like this uh, battleship gray. Very cool. I love how they left the yellow here on the front, these little lines and stripes, but they got the rest of the truck gray. Very cool. Black with the black roll cage, black tires, and then we have these kind of gray silver uh, wheels. So I'm hoping this stuff is in focus good enough for you guys. I can't see all that well right now. I literally went one room over, totally lost my glasses, and I searched for 15, 20 minutes, and they are nowhere to be found. Uh, sometimes the way things happen, I just, uh, I just don't get it. It's like they just vanished into thin air. They're probably on top of my head. Are they on top of my head, guys? No, that's not these. These are the cheaters. Okay, go find Dad's glasses. Okay, so I'll have to trade you in for a bloodhound so we can find Dad's glasses. No? Okay, he said no. They're, they're around here somewhere. Eventually, they'll turn up. Check this guy's uh, this truck out here, guys. I, I think this might have been a chase piece. You can tell because we have the painted silver shocks. Got that silver motor. Black with the black with the BKT. Very neat stuff. Kind of the traditional earth shaker body with the dirt in the back. But when then we also have this little uh, wheelie bar, which I think is uh, actually very, uh, very cool. All right, next truck. This one came out of the uh, the Nitro Neon Pack. Very cool model. And then we have it in an orange. Kind of got like this uh, purple. Kind of like maybe a hot pink. Seafoam green tires. I did a whole review on these uh, Nitro Neon trucks, so if you guys want to see them, uh, go check out that video. Very cool, very cool stuff. This is a uh, very amazing looking uh, earth shaker. I like this one a lot. All right, next one. This one's very cool. This one's all blacked out, but with a uh, chrome 
uh, frame and a black roll cage. Very cool black wheels, black rims. Kind of your standard earth shaker body. Nothing special there, but it looks very cool with this, all this black going on uh, underneath it. Very neat model. Very cool stuff. All right, family. Let's see. I think Cake's got a earth shaker in his butt. All right. Cakes, was that earth shaker in your butt? Is that is that a butt shaker? Cakes, are you a rump shaker, sir? Yeah, are you? <laughs> All right, this is the uh, Cakes the Snakes butt shaker right here. Let's see, we got BKT tires, yellow wheels. Now, the only difference between this truck and this truck that I showed you right here is it has the gray frame, silver frame. And this one has the black, so sometimes you... Oh, okay, I lied. It's got yellow in here, and this one has, like, a gray in there. Very cool stuff. Cakes? Which one of those earth shakers is the best, sir? That one? The one on your butt? The butt shaker? Cake says the butt shaker is the best one. All right, guys, moving right along. What else do we got over here? Cakes, are you laying on any more earth shakers, sir? What we got? All right, this one very cool model now we have a yellow roll cage same kind of top you know they like to put the same top you know i wish they'd give us different colors and different uh variations on the top of the trucks too but now we have a yellow roll cage we got the black frame we got these silver tires and black wheels another very cool truck but it's just another uh variation of the earth shaker very cool though i like to collect all the different uh variations um just because, just because I, I'm a big Monster Jam fan and I like to collect all the different variations. Even though you could do your own customs and stuff, you know, I still get all the different variations that they released too. Now this one was like a, I can't remember what this one was from. Gears and Galaxies? No, no, it's not Gears and Galaxies. I can't remember what series this is from. You guys let me know in the comments. It's like a moon landing truck. I think it had something to do with something like that. Very neat. Um... Maybe it was the Gears and Gears and Galaxies. You guys let me know. I can't remember. Got this like silver paint on the wheels. Yellow uh, frame. Got the white roll cage. And then we have the white truck variation here. And with like a gray like moon rock sand going. Cool tinted blue windshield. Kind of got little blue um, hazard strips instead of the yellow around the, the frame of the, and the top and the, and the rails of this truck. Very neat. Got the little uh, United States flag there going on on the side. Monster Jam logo. Little Earth Shaker in red. Very cool stuff. All right. What else do we got over here? Oh, we got the uh, got the Earth Shaker here with the uh, the rock wheels, stone wheels. Very cool. Now this one, this truck feels very heavy too. I don't think it's a chase piece. But I think this was a little limited edition model that you got with like that play sand. It's like a little play set that had that uh, kinetic sand or whatever in it. So the top is the same. Got a kind of dark gray chassis, black frame. Got the earth tires and we got the yellow uh, rims to kind of match the yellow top. Very neat model. Loving this one. I love, I love when they do the fire, the water, and the earth tires and stuff. Very cool stuff. All right, guys. Let's see. We got two more. We got the... Uh, like the blackout edition or whiteout edition where it's all black and white. Very cool. Another white. I wish they would do them all with the different colored tops, man. Make me feel like I was getting a little bit more of value for my money than just the same old truck over and over with different color rims and different color frame. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, I'm a collector. I like them. But uh, I, I really like when they give us different color uh, bodies. Very neat. So we got the black with the white and then the black with the white and then the black with the white, man very neat truck and then you got the black uh sand it almost looks like charcoal going on in the back and we got these little uh the wheelie bar with the flames like they used to do a couple years back very cool stuff cakes do you like the blackout whiteout truck sir cakes what are you looking at <laughs> Kee -kee. oh very cool model all right guys the last one that we got and I didn't think I had this model. My, my friend asked me if I had the ride truck, and I told him no. I wasn't intentionally trying to lie, but uh, I just couldn't remember. I didn't, I didn't think I had it. It was stuffed in the back there on my shelf. So a uh, very cool uh, model indeed. We have the, uh, the rails with the little uh, seats in here for the ride. 
Got our little uh, ladder going on on the back. Got a little, like, look like diamond plate going on here on the frame. Very cool yellow tires. Kind of the same traditional body, but I believe it is a little bit wider. Definitely wider truck so that it can accept this uh, ride truck with the roll frame and everything. Very cool stuff. Okay, what's that tail doing, sir? <laughs> Kegs up here just chilling, guys. He don't, he don't, he not paying no attention to no earth shaker. So anyway, there's your ride truck, guys. We are going to unbox and take a look at this gotta dump. I'm going to move Cakey Snakey off the table because I need more uh, room. And we will be right back with you guys. Stay tuned. All right, friends, we are back. And we are going to be taking a look at this uh, hot... Hot Wheels, got a dump, 124 scale model. Let's see if we can cut the tape on this bad boy. One there, got one there, and one here. All right, very cool stuff. Yeah, I like showing off my knife. It's a pretty cool, pretty cool little blade. This is the Cold Steel um, Talwar with the serrated edges. Very neat uh, little knife. It's kind of like my uh, everyday carry. Very cool stuff. Got the little uh, thumb knurls here so it don't slide. Little easy trigger here. And then you have the kind of like the old school locking mechanism, but it, which is very uh, dependable. All right, got a dump. Let's get him out. 124 scale model. All right, look how much better it looks out of the box. You can see those colors colors absolutely pop let's take it out of this package here actually let's look at the package got kind of like a little blue explosion going on in the background i guess that's a little separate piece that they slide in there now kind of got like this uh earth bottom little hot wheels logo got a dump what do we got here on the side nothing what we got on the bottom nothing i thought i seen uh oh here it is it's on this little piece right here the other trucks, there we go, very cool models, I love that new uh, Godzilla, and of course the uh, Mega Rex is always a good one, let me know if you guys picked up any of these, okay, so here we go, got a dump, let's check out its uh, features, so first off, you can see we got this chrome motor in here, very cool uh, yellow wheels, big old tires, what I like about the Hot Wheels uh, 124s compared to the, um, the Spin Master ones, the Monster Jam ones is the tires are a little bit bigger. They roll really good. But I think maybe the Spin Master wheels and tires look a little bit more realistic. Let's check out this frame in there. Very neat. You can see already the little hinge where the uh, dump bed uh, dumps. Hot Wheel logo. Got a dump with like some mud or sand on the side. We got the little caution construction uh, lines right here. Do not cross caution. See the little motor. Got a little, uh, looks like a twin turbo. Twin turbo setup coming up out of there, out of the hood, which is uh, actually kind of common for these big old like diesel motors and stuff. Look at the little cab here. Very cool. I can see a little guy in there riding around. Very neat model. Little uh, 45 degree angle for you guys on this. Look at this thing, how it sits. Very tough. And now first thing I noticed when I lifted up the dump bed is it, it kind of felt like it snaps in there. Oh, look. Look at all the features and stuff. We got some cooling fans. We got some plumbing and some piping. We got the little hydraulic like lift strut here on the side. Some more little cooling vents. Cool. You can see the little yellow details under here, under the frame. Little shocks. And um, something made this kind of like snap in. Oh, there it is. These little uh, pegs right here. They got little, they got little holes on the inside of the bed. So when you put it down, it kind of locks in. Very cool truck, guys, man. Hope you find this uh, Got a Dump Hot Wheels 124 scale if you're looking for it in your store. I think it's very cool. And anyway, like always, I'm going to put all the uh, Earth Shakers back up here on the table. We're going to take one more look at them, family, and uh, that'll be the end of this video, man. We appreciate and I thank you guys for coming and watching. Uh, take a look at all these Earth Shakers one more time. And uh, like I said, thanks for being here, family. Alright friends, here they all are. One last peek. Got this Earthshaker in these double packs. Very cool. 
these two 124 scale trucks here that I showed you guys got the 124 scale uh, earth shaker very neat and here is all of the rest of the models let's take a little uh one last look do a little uh sweep by of these guys here man i'm really liking this gray one very cool stuff little uh overhead view my camera's wanting to uh hit all of the trucks so you know sometimes making these videos is not as easy as it seems there are uh, definitely difficulties to try to get good footage and good videos for you guys so if you liked this video if you like this video review <laughs> and all that it takes for uh, me and Cakey Snakes to make these videos for you guys I want to let you know that we greatly appreciate it and if you like it think about subscribing and hit that thumbs up button for us man it really helps all right, family, until next time, I'm going to go get Cakey Snakey real quick so he can tell you guys bye, and then we're going to end this video. All right, guys, this is Brian, and this is your boy, Cakey Snakey, Cakey Snakey, tell everybody goodbye, sir. All right, family, appreciate you guys being here, man. Love you guys. Till next time, peace. Cake, tell them peace. All right.